Hello guys, Goron Gaming here, and where we left off, we kind of crashed doing recording problems, but I think I solved them by changing changing some settings in my recorder, so I should be fixed. And um, basically, my C drive was completely over full, uh, so I had to change the temporary save folder for the recording stuff to a different drive that wasn't that full. So I did. Uh, and I hope it works now and if not then we're screwed so um, I ended up not dying to all those ships let's see where we start off now because I'm really not sure yeah alright I think we need to do the mission over um, so let's just see what happens Yeah, alright, we uh, already saw this. So, um, it put us back at this point, but that's okay. Um, I'll just go. That was a rumble by God. Huh? How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now, I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, hmm. my boy. Well placed bribe to the right government official to see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Alright, that's what the Surrey wants to do because but because we kind of glitched out, um we haven't really fought this ship yet. And that, my friends, is a pirate hunter ship. Uh, aggressive people. Uh so we are going to attack them. Oh, oh, we don't have a ram. So, pirate hunters are kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, you raise your wanted level by uh, killing ships. And when your wanted level is raised, you get these ships after you. And they're, they can be kind of difficult. They can be difficult to attack. So we're just doing our best, and we're doing pretty okay. Um, just have to hope no other ships are getting involved. But I don't think, uh, like when you're fighting with a pirate hunter, that other ships really um, get into your fight a lot. So I think we're good. Uh, oh, except that we're going to get hit. Right, I we almost killed it. Uh, there we go. Nice. So uh, once we've boarded this ship, we can go out to our own ship, and or else we can do the rest of the mission. But I think it was part of the mission to kill one of these ships actually. So we better just do that. Alright, this is a captain. Um, so as you can see, pirate hunters look a little bit different than your average uh, people. So it's kind of... Uh, sometimes it's hard to see the difference between the actual pirate hunters and your own crew. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, I mostly just deal with it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a bit confused again, and oh, he's got some hits on us. Come on. Thank you, just die. There we go. Alright, so we did it. We killed the ship, and they're all screwed now. Alright. <coughs> Repair Jack Dawn's our only option, so we better just do it. Plunder around the ship under 30 sugar. Oh, we should do that. But I'm not really. Should be a ship out there somewhere. Do you have sugar? No, wooden cloth. Do you have sugar? Sir, over there in the distance. Why can't I see you through my spyglass? 
Metal and rum. Yep. Well, screw it. Well, I, I'd say screw the objectives. Uh, we're just going. Uh, nice. Why are there so many boats in here? Like, I have to actually sail past them. Wait, there's another ship. Do you have sugar? Nope. Alright, screw it. Can't find any sugar. So then we don't. Hey, we didn't kill them. Hi there. Right, we're docking. We have to talk to the local officer over there in the distance. Oh wow, we jumped over the over the dock. Wow. All right, that happened. Hey, a fish, fishy, fishy. Oh, and that's a boat. Ahoy, Captain. Need to go underground. Yes, I do. Your wanted level has been reset. Awesome. New objective. Reach the captain's cabin and buy broadside cannons. And please just climb on the freaking thing. Customization items and other things that I don't care about have been unlocked. Alright, to the cabin. So we haven't been in the cabin yet, right? <laughs> I don't think I showed you guys the cabin. Well, this is the captain's cabin. Uh, we have maps, we have suits, and we have the ship itself. And the game now wants us to go to the ship itself and upgrade it from the captain's cabin, um, which is cool. Now, in the captain's cabin, you, you can also sell stuff like cargo and hunting goods. Um, sugar and rum, don't worry about selling it, just always sell it all because it's the, on the only purpose it serves is to be sold and give you money to buy things. So let's just go to the upgrades and we should buy this. And that's it. All right, and let's see it. Check off here. Don't think we're allowed to do anything. Oh, we are. Oh, we do. We do. We do. Because I've redeemed some items. Uh. So we can actually take some stuff from here. We can uh, upgrade the ship from our cabin and stuff. And we did some stuff that makes us able to uh, customize our ship. I redeemed some things on Uplay and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool that yeah, we can do that. So now our ship looks a bit different and stuff. And we have extra cannons that we just purchased. So that's always good. Uh, we have those more beautiful sills which is good <laughs> you're a wonder can we you've a knack for this kind of work it ain't work if you love it ah, ah. Oh, but I ain't doing this forever lads only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home <laughs> Jesus will you listen to your tripe still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. <laughs> Just puts the bottle away. A fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, why would you freaking... Like, and the other pirates are a bit... More pirate-like. Ed Edward is a bit more human. <laughs> he just wants to go get some money and go back to England. To sail with his beautiful woman. Because she is kind of beautiful, right? <laughs> She's definitely not ugly. Who? 
Who did we lose? What the hell are you talking about? You're just talking nonsense again, are you? Always just talking nonsense, Adewale. What's that? There's a smoking... Brick. HMS Snapper. It's not really... It's definitely snapped a bit here and there. Just gonna sail over. See what we find there. I'm interested. Definitely looks interesting. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Alright, I'm going aboard. Let's see what's on here. There's a lot of loot on the back side of the ship, so I'm going to check that out. What's going on? That would just climb on. One minute timer. Why is there a timer? That can be good. I think we better just open all these chests as quickly as possible and then we head back to our own ship. Since there's a timer, and I can timers are never good. They are either explosions or well actually that's all I can come up with. And since the ship is on fire, I'd say it's going to blow in 30 seconds. Um let's see, can we take some more loot? of these bodies. Yeah, there we go. Small amounts of money, but they're always welcome. Alright, I'm going to go. This is getting a little bit dangerous, I think. I'm going to look at this ship, because it's probably as going to explode in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, I want to see it. Oh, that's an explosion indeed. Well, we got off there in time. <laughs> oh, we got some extra loots. Loots loot stuff so need a hand here who needs a hand where with well right, let's see where are we on the map and where are we going on the map I wonder there's a fortress I don't think we are ready to face fortresses yet so I'm just going to go to the main mission which is quite a while away so I will see you guys in just second probably once we reach our location so uh, goodbye all right so we are reaching the docks slowly we can uh... all right so ooh. all right let's just oh, why are we going away from the shore hello where are you going? You're going back? Alright, whatever you want. It's all your decision, I suppose. But I'm going aboard. Aren't you guys... Don't you guys want to go to land? Andreas Island. Oh, that's the island from the demo. Right? I think it is. Yeah. Definitely is. Oh, that's so cool. It was like... One of the first demos from Assassin's Creed 4. He went to Andreas Island. And did some things. Oh, we have to unlock another tavern. Oh, this is just like in the demo. That's cool. Whoa. Hi there. Bam. Awesome. There you go. And you're dead too. Asshole. Oh, that's a death cry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that's another tavern unlocked, I suppose. Ah. Whoa, they all have pretty... Yeah, that's a smaller one. Alright, anyway, um, let's see. Let's take the viewpoint first, and then we'll go to the mission. Oh, wait, there was a chest, and we just ran past it. Here it is. That's my goal now. Alright, going up. And up, and up. Come on. Mah. Doing the viewpoint gives you a fast travel station, so that's also always a good thing to do. 
I, I was thinking last uh, lately. I've been thinking of because I wasn't really able to record stuff. I've been thinking a lot, which is terrible because <laughs> I don't like thinking. I just want to do things. Um, but I really have been thinking about uh, how I'm going to do some things, and I've been thinking about like maybe a montage kind of episode uh, where I collect like all the loot and a few points from all the all the cities like Havana and Kingston because there is a lot of loot and I want to grab it all but uh, it would be kind of a boring episode so maybe a montage or maybe I'll just do it off screen if you guys don't mind that but I don't like doing things uh, off screen too much except that I probably will um, do a lot of uh, killing ships like I, I think uh, like after this already I am going to kill quite some ships off screen and get their loot and then in the episodes after we will buy stuff out of that so we'll see anyway let's start the mission we are here James Kidd uh, the Captain Kidd uh, famous so let's just get started now I'm just talking too much why look it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd still a mere boy and yet Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So... What's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. <laughs> Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. No, Right. Oh, what is... Oh, that'd be so stupid. Like, if that man would be like, uh... What's he called? Steve Bonnet. Because he owned a plantation, didn't he? Just the sword I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. Alright. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's steal him and see where he brings us. This is a kind of a diverse episode, but uh, after we did this mission, I think I'm going to quit. Um, uh, yeah, you shouldn't see us follow him though. That's always the problem. But he won't notice us in the bushes. <laughs> nice little tavern. Oh yeah, we're totally not... It's definitely not possible to see us now. Ah, how well made is this? Uh, hmm. We can just kill him now for what? But I don't think we want to kill it. So we're tailing him to the ship. And our ship's just right over there. Hmm. Perfect. Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? <laughs> we'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It's a good harvest. You might not talk to loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly report. Yeah. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just <laughs> now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. Okay. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going away. No! Why? Oh, there was a guy standing there. Damn it, we were just about to do something. God diggity. That sucks. 
Now we have to do it over, probably. Not sure. Oh no. Alright. I'm running. Run. Oh, there's a rowboat. Take that. I've just overheard one of the Backfoot's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Oh, this is a quick ship. Alright, so we're chasing a ship. Uh, I don't know if it's such a good idea. Like, we, are, we have a big ship, I mean, it's... Isn't, isn't he, like, going to notice us? Restricted area! Alright. Oh, great. To dodge the other ships. I see them! Optional objectives. Oh, it's just optional. <laughs> well, I think it's a good idea to stay out of combat. But I don't see it being possible with all these freaking ships. Oh, the other ship's turning around. We can go in for the uh, chase. That's cool. Good thing. With all the, I, I guess you can't really see us because it's uh, the mist. It's pretty foggy stuff. Foggy, uh, the foggy day in the Caribbean. Like yesterday, I was um, after I recorded the video yesterday, I went to my other save file, and yeah, I'm reducing distance because I can't keep up with anymore. Maybe you should maybe give me a faster ship, for fuck's sake. Um, but anyway, I was playing and I attacked one ship in the fog, and there were like 20 other ships that started to attack me. So I had this giant naval war in, in the mist. Do you know them? The Backfords and the Sugar Empire. Aye, the and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, huh? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled, or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like, toiling on a plantation day and night? Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested... Oh, that's a wind! I'm trying to listen to Arabella's story, though. It was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in patches made pump. Let me tell you, brother. Boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. There's a touch on the skin. It stick like wood lime and burn on, giving a terrible scar. Jesus. Oh, I think we're reaching our destination. It's a risk to end it too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. We'll drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jacket. Cat Island, made in Steel's viewpoint. These are quite some things. What's a made in steel? We haven't seen those yet. <laughs> uh, oh, we have to reach the eight. Sabotage alarm bells. Zero out of two. Alright. Um, I'm not going. Alright. There we go. Such disarray. Disarray? Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wellington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No oh, bother, sir. We've everything sorted. You'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. <laughs> Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. 
and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. Oh, I'm not suspicious though. I'm just a man in the shrubs. Nothing suspicious about that. Oh gosh, no. Nothing. Didn't see anything. Didn't see a thing. Didn't see a thing. Did never ever see anything at all. You up there. Look alive, man. You've a job to do. Yeah. Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Wow, this is a terrible capture. Hey there. How are you doing? Please don't cut me. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, why did you do that for? Bitch. How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. Yep. Alright. Hi there. Uh, you're not going to ring this bell, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> that bell won't ring anymore. We cut, uh, cut out the mechanism. I think we're doing pretty good on the eavesdrop thing. I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Um, I do Which too. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? I don't know. Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. Oh, I think... No, that's a lamb. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Who has the key? Who has the freaking key? I'd like to know who has the key. But I'm afraid I will be seen. So I must track with care and then locate the keyhole. It should be somewhere around the keyhouse. But I ain't seeing nobody. Hmm. Oh. Does he have it? No. Hmm. Well. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Damn it. Nobody saw a thing. And nobody is triggering no alarm bell. And I want the key. No, no alarm, no alarm. Never any alarm. Never. Nothing. Where is the key holder? Oh, there he is! Awesome. Steal the key. Alright, we can steal the key from the key holder guy. The man wants energy for the world. All right, loot key, hold to loot the key. All right, loot the warehouse. I think we're done. So, um, we've looted the warehouse, which gives us a whole lot of stuff, and no bells ring, so we got a bonus reward. I don't think how that I don't know how that works out, but I will thank you guys for watching this episode of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and I will see you guys in the next episode where we will continue doing stuff. Don't know what, we'll find out. Goodbye.